Back now at 741 this morning on Rawson Reports. Toxic mold in your home. It obviously can be dangerous, but when you hire mold contractors for help, are they competent and honest? Jeff Rawson is today's national investigative correspondent. Jeff, good morning. That's the big question. Yeah, it is. And hey, David, you know, we're both homeowners. This yep. can be incredibly scary, finding mold in your home. So when you see the black spots on the wall, what do you do? You call a mold contractor, but experts say some of those companies are profiting off our worst fears, charging you big bucks for repairs you just don't need. This morning, we're undercover with hidden cameras, putting them to the test. A basement playroom, a concerned oh, wow. mother. I have my son down here a lot, and there's some dark spots that I'm a little worried about. And a parade of mold contractors she called for help. That's black mold. That's black mold? Absolutely. But that mom is really an undercover Today Show producer. And those spots aren't mold. They're really woman's eyeshadow. We know because we put them there. So would these mold contractors know the difference or charge us big money to fix a problem our experts say doesn't exist? You're saying this is mold. Do you want to hear what it really is? Sure. Women's eyeshadow that we put there this morning. Wow. Some wanted to charge us hundreds. Do I charge any money? I don't have an answer even thousands of dollars. So how big of a problem do you think I have well, I here? I think you have a $10,000 problem. Are you just trying to scare customers Absolutely. to spend a lot of money to fix a non-problem? Absolutely not. Can we turn this off? Our cameras are rolling to expose what some experts say is a growing problem in a growing industry. I think it's happening more and more and a lot more than people think. Howard White is a mold remediation supervisor with a top company working with us for our investigation. Typically, they're preying on people's fears. I mean, people just want to know that their homes are clean and safe. So we set up an experiment renting this house in suburban New Jersey. We hired two reputable environmental testing companies to inspect the house from top to bottom, testing for mold and moisture on surfaces and in the air. The results show this house is safe. Then we had our expert dab black eyeshadow in three spots. So if a contractor comes in and says, you got a mold problem here, you got to spend money. They're lying. Our undercover producer called several mold contractors to inspect the basement, posing as a worried mom. Then we installed eight hidden cameras and watched from our control room upstairs as the contractors showed up. My son's down here all the time. And yeah, I see spots like this and just wanted to get them checked out. This contractor does an inspection. His verdict? I'm in the job to sell basement waterproofing and mold remediation. I don't think you need us. He says if these spots are mold, they're so minor, she can clean them herself. I would just bleach, bleach, bleach. We kill with bleach here and then wipe it up. In fact, two more contractors came in. It's not mold. It doesn't appear to be mold. And didn't charge us either. Oh, it could just be a scuff from something. But our results were about to take a sharp turn. How are you? Two minutes after stepping into our basement, this guy has some bad news. It's there, you know. Yeah. Definitely mold. There's no question about it. He says two of our spots are mold, and we also have signs of water damage. To fix it, he'll need to cut out sheetrock and spray chemicals. Technically, I'm not supposed to say yes without testing it, but you don't need to pay for a test because it's definitely, I mean, this is definitely mold. But remember, it's really eyeshadow. It's definitely mold. How does he know? His price, $1,050. Hi, Jeff Rawson from NBC News. How you doing? That's when I stepped in. Are you yes. a trained and certified mold technician? Yes. So you're telling me that you thought that was mold and you're a certified mold technician? You feel good about yourself? <laughs> no, not at all. I, I hate that you were trying to charge her $1,000 for a problem that doesn't exist. It's, so funny, I don't well it's funny because there's a lot of companies out there who are uh, very dishonest. He said his company is honest and he has many happy customers. Where is it going on TV? NBC News. NBC News. It's nice, thank you. You should feel good about yourself. We kept going. How are you? Good. This next contractor sounds the alarm at our window. Yes, that's definitely work mold. I don't think you need to test this waste of money. His clean $1,200. 1200 bucks to do the whole basement. Dude, that's really cheap. Cheap? You're a mold expert, right? I had some questions for him. Do you know what this really is? No, I don't. It's women's eyeshadow that we put there this morning. Well, it looks like mold to me. Why wouldn't you say to the homeowner, I can't even give you an estimate to tell you if there is a mold problem here? So because we do usually that. do a test after we clean it. So they have to spend the money and pay you over $1,200 yes. before you'll test to see if there's a problem. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, it does. We do it all the time. Okay, but we hadn't seen anything yet. This next contractor. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Doesn't waste any time. That's black mold. That's black mold? Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got water in here. I can still smell the dampness from it. You know what I'm It's not healthy. It's not healthy. He says we have serious water leaks causing the mold. But remember, two reputable companies checked this house for mold and moisture and didn't find any serious problems. I'm going to break out the floor. So when I'm going to come in here, I'm going to take a saw and pull all this molding off. So how big of a problem do you think I have well, here? I think you have a $10,000 problem. That's right. His estimate, $10,871 to install a new drain system. I'm going to fix this now as if it was my basement. Hi, Jeff Rawson with NBC News. Hi, Jeff Rawson with NBC News. I've seen you on television. Wow, this is really interesting. I thought you were on television. We're on TV right now. Okay. Where is the mold? Show me. This black mold would indicate you have some type of vegetation growing here. Is this just a tactic to get customers to I pay you? I don't want to scare this lady in any respect. I told her. Telling her there's a mold issue when there really isn't. I didn't say that. Yes, he did. It's mold. It's absolutely mold. That's black mold. That's black mold? Absolutely. This is mold, too. Can we turn this off? I'm no. Not, well, then he told me he's not a mold expert and thought he was called here for a water problem. Did you test this house for water? No, I'll, I'll go get a meter to test Did you them. test this house officially for mold? I am not required to test the house officially for mold. In the end, five out of eight mold contractors, more than half, wanted to charge us for work that experts say we did not need. It questions the integrity of my entire industry when I see people like this. Experts say mold contractors should always do a complete visual inspection. They say some of the guys at our house just didn't do that. Here's a tip. If your home has visible mold that is growing in size, a serious water problem, or your family is getting sick, those are warning signs that you may have mold and a contractor may not need to do testing. But, David, either way, no matter what, it doesn't hurt to get a second opinion when somebody comes in and says, give me money. That's amazing stuff. <laughs> well done. Well done, <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. David. Thanks very much.